Hey YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with Ravel's Moving Violation, which is a 41 Willys pickup gas or drag pickup. So, this one is brand new in the box, other than it's old. Still sealed in plastic, so let's cut it open and see what we got. Okay, I've actually never been inside of one of these, so let's see what uh, it's like. It has opening doors. I wonder if it's like the sort of like the Willy's car kit that I did a review on, but let's see what we got. Here's the box, how it is inside. It's molded in purple. This neat, so the body's molded in purple, and all the chassis parts are molded in black. So, okay, so first up we have the Willy's cab. It has a grill opening here. Uh, the hood opening is here. It's got opened uh, doors. Back of the cab. Okay, iconic Willy's body there. Here we have a uh, hood with a hole in it for the engine or scoop. In this case, I think it shows on the box there. Got a truck box here and interior floor. This is a topper for the box. And we go here, you got the rear fenders. There's the inside of the floor, designed for two seats. And the top has like a tuck and roll padded for the box, if you if you will. So here we also have the Willys doors here. And it looks like they, uh, they're set up for the hinges there and there's inner door panels. Basic detail to pick off. We got a uh, Willy's dashboard, a roll bar, and then this is a scoop. Looks like it glues into the hood there. Got a radiator hose, another radiator hose possibly, um, radiator, and then a couple of hinges for the uh, the actual to hold the door so they work. So there's one side of that tree, and then there's the other. Have the tubular style chassis there got some rear suspension and rear differential this has a quick change rear end in it there's a straight front axle here some shocks the seats are molded in black here with the sort of a tuck and roll center here here's an engine here I'm not sure what the what it's supposed to represent uh, we'll see maybe when you get to the valve covers um, there's an oil pan here, uh, cylinder heads, front engine detail, parachute, and then some wheel backs, and then some wheel parts, and then some pieces for the um, that go on that front axle. Looks like it may steer too when you're done. You have a drive shaft here, uh, steering components, and a couple of rear springs, and then front leaf springs. So there's the the one side of the tree there. Flip that over, you can see the back side of it. And here we have uh, basically center line wheels. There's a shifter here, parts to the blower. There are optional headlights, they don't show it on the box, but there's optional headlights here. There's a blower belt assembly, some tail lights, bumpers. Um, the main blower assembly, that iconic foot shaped gas pedal. We've got some fender well style headers here. You got your three spoke steering wheel here. I'll flip it over so you can see the other side. We're just looking at these valve covers here to identify what possible engine that is. Looks like maybe Ford, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Flip that over here. There's that steering wheel, it's a three spoke with holes in it, typical racing style wheel. So there's the back side of the tree and then there's the front side of it. Tires. These are the old style where they're in two halves and you have to glue them together. It's an easy upgrade if you got extra parts, but they, you know when you put these together and you sand them they look good. So those are the slicks. They say Goodyear on them. Nice detail on the sidewall. Okay. And same with the front tires. They also 
the old school ones that glue together in two halves. They um, also say Goodyear on them. Here we have the water slide decals. There's the uh, moving violation here, and then of course uh, the guy that's on the side of the box and the artwork. And of course, all your ra racing decals. So yeah, that's all your decals there. In this model, you also receive clear plastic that you have to cut your own windows. The last thing in the box is the instructions. Here you can see those template for the front and rear windshield. Does it say what engine it is? It looks like a very generic engine. There's nothing, it's hard to identify anything on it to what it actually is. And then sort of go through there's your final assembly on this model. Okay. Well there you have it, Revell Moving Violation. It's a vintage kit. If you come across one, that's what you're going to get in the box. And as always, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Please do share and comment as I love reading the comments. Maybe you built one of these or something, just let me know. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.